What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today we're going over Doge Change DC, which is down 7.2% today at 65916. Somehow, I was looking through my MetaMask wallet and I came upon about a half a grand just sitting. I, I, I honestly don't know how I got in there or anything like that. I don't know if it was like tucked away or what. And you know what I did? I bought Doge Chain today. I bought some more Doge Chain today with that. Without even looking at the charts, that's how bullish I am at this thing. So this is actually my first time looking at the charts today. I just spot bought that. Uh, <laughs> probably not a smart move, but it is what it is, man. I'm stacking that DC. So Doge Chain, 72%. I love the small market cap of only 14 million. The circulating supply is 22 billion with a max supply of only 169 billion. So it's not in the trillions, quadrillions like the other dog coins. And if we go to the website, what I really love about this is that it brings utility to Dogecoin. And I think Dogecoin is going to go easily over a dollar. And I'll show you something once we get to the charts. DC follows Doge pretty much exactly the charts are pretty much identical so if doge starts running and starts making those higher highs doge chain is going to follow along so why not pick up a coin that's tailing one of the biggest meme coins that is you know on the market right now backed by snoop dogg backed by elon musk so there's a little bit of hopium for you guys right there so all-time high on this thing was 11 months ago this has never seen a bull run yet it came out in august of 2022 so i'm pretty excited to see what this does in the bull run. all-time low is nine months ago i mean you're only up 83 percent from that all-time low which is not bad at all i mean for accumulation i mean if you bought nine months ago and you're only up 83 percent you're like oh man i'm up a little bit but i wanted more but in my personal opinion it's not a bad time to accumulate this coin this is a long-term accumulation phase right here and it looks like we found a rounded bottom but we're going to be getting into more technicals here. So with that, let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on DC. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into it. So Doge Chain right now, what I really like about this is the rounded bottom that we've been talking about on it. So we had this, you know, the double top here where the top, we had the top, top, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. And we officially put in a higher high from July. So we did put in a higher high right here. This is probably Chef Natron dropping some dough on that with that huge guide candle right there. Way to go, you. <laughs> well, this is the day chart. But regardless of that, this is a very important support area for Doge's around that 5453. We cannot fall below that. If we fall below that, the next stop's down here at 3576. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think this is the bottom for Doge chain right now. Uh, if we look at this downtrend right here, we, we broke out of this downtrend. We back tested it as support right here on July 8th. And now we're working on our next phase. So in my personal opinion, this phase right here, this is one phase. Let me zoom out a little bit. This is one phase right here. We broke out of the downtrend and we are now starting our second phase for Doge Chain right now. They actually just burnt 15% of the total supply too. If you haven't seen that, uh, they posted on their Twitter. So right now I'm keeping a close eye on Doge Chain. I did pick some more up today. I didn't look at the charts because I know it's around a very, I know it's a very good price to be picking up Doge Chain. If we fall lower, I'll pick up some more, but I just don't see that happening, especially that how Doge is starting to run. And uh, this thing follows Doge. And I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you guys what I mean here. If we do Doge at the new price, I mean, look at these charts. You cannot deny to me that Doge Chain follows doge now right here obviously it didn't follow it but that's because of the initial coin launch when a new coin initially launches you know it, it goes to the moon and then it rugs and then we found common ground right here and we started following doge so the charts following doge pretty dang accurately right here so if doge starts running as you can see doge ran and had a pullback doge chain ran and had a pullback In my personal opinion doge has also bottomed um um, I guess we'll make this a double dipper. So if we go to Doge real quick and look at Doge, what I'm seeing here is uh, since November 2022, you were in, you had this very tight downtrend support area right here, and you had this downtrend resistance area right here as well, and which we did just break out of. We broke out of this falling wedge for Doge. Um, we actually aren't super bullish on Doge, I guess you can say, until we get above 8.2 cents. If we get above that 620 on Doge, we are going to be moving very, very quickly to the upside, which is very, very bullish for Doge Chain. So for Doge Chain right now, um, I guess you can say on the day chart right here, 
If we look at the MACD, the MACD is heading towards, you know, losing its bullish momentum. WTX isn't looking bad. RSI is starting to tail back down, but it's just following Doge. Now, we're going to be looking at the short term right here. Maybe we can see some of these spot buys. So these are some of the spot buys I did buy within the last four hours. So this green candle is actually where I bought. I bought a, I bought it. No, I bought it at five. I bought it at five, eight, six, five. So I bought mine at five, eight, six, five. That's where I picked mine up. In the short term, we did get a sell signal right here. Uh, we were overbought on the RSI. We are technically bearish here on the MACD in the short term, but it doesn't look like we're having huge engulfing candles either. So I think Doge Chain is just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. You can see we were making lower, we were making lower highs and lower lows right here until we finally started making a higher high right here. We had this long-term consolidation and then boom, we shot up. So technically, I think that is officially a trend reversal there for Doge Chain. Also, if we draw a fib on this thing from the top to the bottom, oh shoot, from the top to the bottom, we're actually finding support here at the 382 area. So the 382 area needs to hold the support. If we bounce off the 382, we'll most likely be testing out that 618 at 7160. We're not bullish until we get above the 618. So technically in the longer term or short term, we're bearish right now, but I do see some movement to the upside here. So we're not officially officially bullish until we go to the 618, but in the short term, I do think we're gonna be seeing most likely 11% move up to around 618. If we do break below that 66436, six, there is a monster support area around here, monster support area down here at around that 236 area. You can see that was that long-term consolidation. If I toss the price volume up, you can see how thick that cloud is of support. So if we break below the 382, you can see there's a negative price volume and there's a huge thick cloud of support right here. And there's a huge cloud of resistance right here. So these are the two areas that we need to focus on right now. We're right in between them. Um, we're not bullish until we get over the 618. We get over the 618 here. The, the price volume cloud drops off, in which case we can start moving higher and make some higher highs. So long term, this is a cycle hold for me. I really don't not looking at the short term on this anymore. I just keep buying it, stacking it. I'm holding it this cycle. Obviously, it's going to move in the short term. I really don't care. It can do whatever it wants. We're getting near a bull run here. And once a bull run starts going, they don't give a fuck. This thing's going to go to the moon, in my personal opinion. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or on my Twitter page. The links are below in the description.